If you're a PC gamer and you want to get started with music production, or if you're a music producer and you want to get into PC gaming, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you produce music on a gaming PC? So a friend of mine, he's a PC gamer, he's got a custom-built gaming PC uh, and he wants to start recording some of his songs, but he wasn't sure if he needs to get a new PC for it or make any changes to his current build. So in this video, I'm gonna share the answer to all those questions for those of you who are in the same position. But first, let me define what I mean by music production and what I mean by a gaming PC. By music production, in this case, I'm referring to the recording, editing, mixing, mastering, sequencing, uh, of, of your music or the music of others or any combination of those things. And then by a gaming PC, I mean a desktop PC that's been either bought or custom built specifically for playing modern games. So to answer this question, I'm firstly gonna speak on using a Windows PC for music production as opposed to using a Mac, which you'll commonly find in recording studios. Uh, and if a PC is actually suitable for music production to begin with. Then we're gonna talk about the hardware itself. Is the hardware of a gaming PC suitable for music production? Is there anything you specifically need in your PC for music production that you might not find in a gaming PC? And finally, I'll conclude and then offer some recommendations to help you to decide what parts need to be in your music and gaming PC. So don't miss that. Now let's get started. So to start off, let's talk about whether a PC is actually suitable for music production. Now, Macs are definitely more common, in, in, at least in my experience, when you look at people's studios, whether that's a home studio uh, or a, a professional studio, normally you'll find it's a Mac being used rather than a PC. But that's not to say PCs don't get used in a studio environment. A couple of the studios I've worked at uh, do use PC for all their recording and, and mixing needs. Now, Macs, of course, aren't commonly used for gaming at all. Uh, for a number of, of different reasons, the compatibility of software, the difficulty to customize and expand uh, a pre-built Mac. But for music production, they do the job. They are reliable. Uh, the built-in audio drivers tend to work very well. And then there's the consideration of which DAW you're gonna be using. Now, if you wanna use Logic for producing music, then you're gonna need a Mac. It's as simple as that. Logic, Logic Pro is only available for Macs. But pretty much any other door you'll be able to get on PC. So Pro Tools, Cubase, Studio One, Ableton Live, Sonar, FL Studio, they're all available for PC and they all do a fantastic job as long as you're comfortable with, with that particular door. So unless you're really intent on using Logic Pro, um, then a PC will be fine in that regard. So ultimately, yes, you can absolutely use a PC for music production. And normally you're gonna be able to get a much higher spec machine for the same price as well. I use a PC for music production. As I said, I've worked in studios that use them as well. Um, there's no reason why you should have to use a Mac. Now in terms of what kind of build you'd need for a gaming PC and a music production PC, they're actually not too different, but there are a few differences. For a tricked out gaming PC build, you'd expect to find a powerful graphics card, at least eight gig of RAM, ideally 16, uh, a, a solid CPU, something like a, a Ryzen 3600 or higher at time of recording, a couple of terabytes hard drive space, ideally a solid state, or at least Windows being installed on a solid state drive, a sufficient CPU cooler, and and enough power to power everything. And for a studio PC build for music production, you're pretty much gonna need all that stuff as well, except for maybe the graphics card. So in a nutshell, yes, if your PC is capable of running AAA games, then you should have no problem running your digital audio workstation with uh, plenty of tracks and plugins. But there are some further considerations when using your machine for music production as well. For starters, gaming machines can be loud. And if you're recording in the same room that your PC is in, then this can be a problem. You can end up with, with low level noise or even high level noise in the background of your recordings and, and end up ruining them. And even for mixing, if you've got a lot of fan noise in the background, then it can affect your mixing decision. Decisions. Now, an alternative is having your PC in a different room um, and wiring it up through Ethernet or something like that, but for a, for a basic home studio, it's unlikely you're going to have that room or capabilities. Secondly, you may need to consider upgrading your CPU. Now, the GPU doesn't matter at all with your DAW, really, but DAWs can be quite CPU intensive, especially if you want to be getting sort of 40, 50, 60 tracks in there, all with 
with with a few plugins. And also definitely opt for that 16 gig of RAM if you can over the eight gig. And thirdly, disk space. Whether you're recording audio or you've got a lot of sample packs, they're gonna take up a lot of space and games are getting bigger and bigger on PC. I mean, there, there are some games that are almost reaching 200 gig now to install them on your machine. So you're gonna need to consider upgrading your storage space further. And finally, inputs and outputs on your machine. Say you've got a gaming PC, you've got your mouse, your keyboard plugged in, um, maybe some external storage, things like that. Then if you're gonna get into music production, you wanna also plug in a USB audio interface, maybe a MIDI keyboard and things your IO needs are gonna to start to grow. So to answer the question, yes, you can produce music on a gaming PC, but there are a few important considerations that you'll need to keep in mind, uh, whether you're building or you're buying a PC. But before you go, let me share with you some specific recommendations that you, sh you should consider before building or buying your gaming music hybrid machine. Before I go over some suggestions, just a disclaimer, make sure you know exactly what you're doing before you go tinkering with your PC or buying new parts. If your PC gets too hot, then it can cause some damage and also you need to make sure that things are compatible. This works for me, but everyone's machine is different and everyone's needs are different. So this is guidance rather than a shopping list. So first, let's get that noise level down. We wanna reduce the number of fans and noisy components in your machine as much as possible. And then the ones that are there, we wanna keep them from getting too too loud. So where can we reduce the number of fans and other noisy components? Well first you can consider going to SSD storage only as opposed to hard disk space. Not only is SSD storage much faster and it's a great idea if you if you have a, a, a PC that you, you're going to need for gaming or in your studio, um, but also they don't have any moving components. You're not going to get that whirring, that spinning up of the hard disk inside your machine. So that will reduce your noise level. Also, I recommend sticking with a single powerful GPU for your gaming needs rather than, rather than running two graphics cards because of course they have fans in and they make noise. So if you're halving the number of graphics cards you have, you're gonna be halving the noise that comes from that area of your machine. Also monitor your temperatures. Do you need all those case fans? Maybe your PC came with, with three or four case fans. Maybe you can get away with just using two. But again, make sure you know what you're doing. We don't want our PCs getting too hot. And then in terms of reducing the noise of what's left, firstly, go for the quietest CPU cooler and case fans that you can. Now in my machine, I use the Be Quiet brand of CPU cooler. It's really quiet. It made a significant uh, noise reduction when I installed that over the Cooler Master that I had in there before. I have no endorsement or anything with them. I just swapped to one myself and it, it made a big difference. You, you can also swap your case fans as well. I haven't yet, but I, I might consider swapping those to be quiet case fans as well. Water cooling is also an option, but they're normally quite noisy. The, the pumps inside make, make a fair amount of noise. So check on the websites of these products, check the decibel levels uh, and also on, on, our, on comparison sites. You can get CPU coolers that don't have any fans. They're just sort of copper pipes and they make no noise whatsoever, but they tend not to perform very well. So it might not be suitable for your needs. Only overclock if you need to as well. Overclocking your machine can increase the temperature which also increases the fan speed. So you need to kind of kind of get the balance right. Do you really need that extra two frames per second if it's gonna add another five decibels of noise to your machine? Just have a play around with it. You can even consider underclocking your card if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you don't need that extra power for your games. Consider how loud your power supply is as well. When my Corsair power supply died, I replaced it with, a, an, again, a Be Quiet power supply, and it actually reduced the noise levels by a couple of dB. Also your case, your case is what contains everything. So if that's well insulated, then even if you're, the components are quite noisy, uh, hopefully a lot of that sound, a lot of that noise won't get out. Um, I use a fractal design case, which is well insulated. I don't recommend going for a case that has a, a glass panel on the side because they're obviously not insulated. Plenty of sound is gonna be able to get through that and, and also it can cause vibrations. If you buy a pre-built machine and the case doesn't come with any sound absorption, you can buy sound absorption panels to install inside the PC. Also try and keep your computer clean. Every couple of months, uh, get that dust out with, some, with a compressed air can 
uh, as it can that can really reduce the, the level of noise that the fans produce as well. Remove any unused optical drives, uh, just the sound of them spinning up can, can make a fair amount of noise. Um, also, automatic fan controls. If you can set your fan controls to automatically slow down your fans when the machine is a bit cooler, that can help bring the noise down as well. And finally, consider what your PC is sitting on. If it's sitting on top of your desk, uh, near near your speakers and, and near your ears, then obviously you're going to hear that a lot louder. So if you can get it as far away as possible and also get it on some kind of absorbing material if possible as well, not on a rattly old side table that's going to cause vibration noise. And aside from the noise, as I mentioned before, I also recommend uh, having as much of your storage as SSD as possible. It will speed up the, the time it takes to load up samples, uh, speed up the time it takes to load up your, your sessions, and of course it's gonna, gonna speed up loading games as well. And if you're building a PC yourself, consider a motherboard with plenty of IO options uh, and some spare PCI slots for upgrading in the future. So yes, you can use gaming PC for producing music, but there are some important considerations. Now this is kind of the optimal scenario, um, but if you just want to get into music production and you don't have the money, uh, but you've got a gaming piece, but you've got a PC there that you use for gaming, then just go for it. Like it doesn't have to be perfect to get started and then you can consider upgrading in the future to make things more suitable. I'll put links to all the products that I mentioned in the description below and let me know if I missed anything out. And leave a comment below as well. What games are you playing at the moment and what music are you producing? It'd be good to get a discussion going and find out what you're using your PCs for. And for more recording studio hardware and recording and mixing tips, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.